3 p.m. on this Monday. All kinds of crazy sounds are coming out of me. I'm so excited to be here. The sacred hour when the H unicorns run free. They gallop through the meadows. How beautiful it is. I'm your host, Emma Tattenbaum Fine, and I, I, I have to be honest with you. I thought about you H cuties all weekend. I don't want to creep you out, but you really got under my skin ever since I met you. I thought, are they warm enough? Do they have enough to eat? Why haven't they called? I thought about players like Sky Rabbit, Max Dash 4, Ashley Stone, Jacob Giller, and so much happened over the weekend since I saw you. The Golden Globes, if anybody cares. Do you care? And history, this is much bigger than the Golden Globes because history was made right here at HQ. We're together. We topped 1.2 million viewers last night. OMG. We are always growing, always improving together. Let's make more history today. Sound fun? Okay. You know the rules, but for the newbies, let's, you know, let's welcome them. We're gonna have 12 questions. You're gonna tap on the answer you believe is correct. You get 10 seconds, so you have to answer fast. The prize is 2,000 US dollars, backed by an arcane and opaque banking system. It's very complicated, it enslaves all of us, but we love it. Report to your H cubicle. I'm the boss lady, here it is, question one. Which of these is found in the frozen food section of the supermarket? Paper towels, flaming mo, ice cream. Which of these is found in the frozen food section of the supermarket? Paper towels, flaming mo, or ice cream? You ever had flaming ice cream? It's really good. Cause like what's better than ice cream? Fire, right? You put them together, now that's a party. Ice cream is your answer. 681,454 of you knew that. Shout out to Moe's Tavern. We're moving on, 681,000 of you, moving at the speed of fun to Q2. What is the common color in the flags of China, Norway, and Canada? Lavender, peach, or red? What is the common color in the flags of China, Norway, or Canada, and Canada? Lavender, peach, or red? Okay, I'm just gonna give this one to you. The answer is red. Did you know that? That might be the only thing these countries have in common. Wow. Okay, we have a lot of you. Strong start, a lot of you still in the game. 660,890 of you still with us. Really great work. Strong start, HQDs, breaking the internet all the time. 660,000, incredible. All right, Q3. Which of these is a synonym for kneecap? Paella, patella, or panera? Which of these is a synonym for kneecap? Paella, patella, panera. This question makes me giggle. Because that sounds like three stooges, right? Paella, patella, panera. Okay, but in all seriousness, your kneecap is not a joke. And you know that if you bang it into that same coffee table every time you get into your house, you know? Okay, patella, that's what you're banging on that coffee table. You know, you get in with your keys and you're like, ah, oh, no, that coffee table. All right, 609,635 of you always coming in the dark and smacking your patella. So painful. I've talked a lot about it. You know this answer now. Question four. What company supplies the athletic uniforms for the University of Oregon? Adidas, Nike, Under Armour. What company supplies the athletic uniforms for the University of Oregon? Adidas, Nike, or Under Armour? All right. Did you just do it? Did you? Did you tap the right answer? Nike? Along with a whole bunch of your squad? Because if you did, we're going to race into Q5. But I don't know. Did you just do it? I always want like one of those cool athletic uniforms, but then you have to do athletic things. That's a problem. Six hundred, no, 348,677 of you. 348,000. Wow. Okay. So we've like, we're now down to about half of where we started. Good work, people. If you're still in it, you are super smart. Q5. Who was president when Walt Disney World's Hall of Presidents first opened? John F. Kennedy, Richard Nixon, or Ronald Reagan? Who was president when Walt Disney's World's Hall of Presidents first opened? John F. Kennedy, Richard Nixon, Ronald Reagan. Mommy, mommy, take me to the Hall of Presidents. That's what every child was saying in 1971. I don't know why. When Nixon was president. That's right. Let's see how many of you are riding along. 
staying afloat after Watergate. Who's gonna ride that current along to Q6? Did you get it? Did you say Nixon? 126,409 of you, ooh! We did lose a good number of you on that. Because it's tricky, right? We got all these dude presidents, but which one was the one in the Hall of Presidents? And why would you, why would you go to the Hall of Presidents? Some kids like that stuff. That wouldn't have been my thing. I was into the Little Mermaid. Okay, so let's go to Q6. Chicago's O'Hare International Airport is the primary hub of what airline? Delta, JetBlue, or United? Chicago's O'Hare International Airport is the primary hub of what airline? Delta, JetBlue, or United? Which one is it? Airlines. They are united in getting you to your destination safely. That's the right answer, United. Except that one Malaysian airline, right? 82,960 of you, so smart. Incredible work, people. What happened to that Malaysian airline? Was that aliens? We have to assume it was, right? That's not even a conspiracy theory. That's just objectively true. Um, but I don't want to spread fake news. That's just my, my personal opinion. Okay, 82,960 of you are united in competition as we forge on to Q7. What did Marcel Duchamp add to the Mona Lisa in his work L-H-O-O-Q? Mustache, red lipstick, or tattoo? What did Marcel Duchamp add to the Mona Lisa in his work L-H-O-O-Q? Mustache, red lipstick, or tattoo? Well, you know what looks super cute on you, me, and every Mona Lisa we know? A mustache! That's the answer! Did you know that? Are you up on your trendy graffiti? Ooh, 38,334 of you. 38,334, that's incredible. Wow, great work. Carry that dapper confidence on to Q8. Who did the creator of Family Ties originally offer the role of Alex P. Keaton to? Was it Matthew Perry, Matthew Broderick, or George Clooney? Who did the creator of Family Ties originally offer the role of Alex P. Keaton to? Matthew Perry, Matthew Broderick, or George Clooney? Okay, so Matthew Broderick turned the role down to make it big in Hollywood. The casting director then pushed for Michael J. Fox. Whether you're a Matthew or a Michael, there's room for you in showbiz. 23,173 of you knew that. That was tricky. It was a bunch of Matthews and a George. How'd you do it? Incredible. Way to be, HQDs. You're breaking the internet, setting records and going on confidently to Q9. I am so proud of you. Okay. How is the ball different in men and women's shot put? Material, weight, or no difference? How is the ball different in men and women's shot put? Material, weight, or no difference? Now, I'd like to say no difference, but that'd be fake news. The answer is weight. A men's shot put weighs 16 pounds, while the women's is half of that at eight pounds. 14,652 of you, that is a solid number. Wow, that's a solid number here on Q9. Okay, I mean, hopefully they still get equal pay, right, with the different shot put weights, but I don't wanna get into the politics of shot puts, cause what do I know about that, right? I got no business. Anyways, okay, so 14,652 of you vying for a payday today. So here we go. Wow, Q11, we are like flying along here. Very exciting. You could be winning some money soon. Oh, sorry, Q10. I, th I thought it seemed fast. Which of these chains has more worldwide locations than the others? My brain is fully exploding right now. We got Subway, Starbucks, or McDonald's. Which of these chains has more worldwide locations than the others? Subway, Starbucks, or McDonald's? Do you know? Okay, you, you might have thought Mickey D's, and that would be understandable. It's a very big chain, but the answer actually is Subway. I'm a huge tuna fan myself. People love that when you eat tuna on a crowded Subway. 4,868 of you are eating tuna just like me, Queen of New York City, on that smelly sea train. Okay, 4,868 of you heading full long to glory. And now I want to say, look, I know it stings. It stings to be eliminated. But look, one day the sun is going to explode, right? So, perspective. Okay, question 11. Who was the first artist to have two different music videos air on MTV? Rod Stewart, Pat Benatar, or Tom Petty? Who was the first artist to have two different music videos air on MTV? Was it Rod Stewart, Pat Benatar, or Tom Petty? All right, I know we're busy people. I'm gonna tell you the answer. It's Rod Stewart. Did you know that? 
I used to come home and watch MTV. 1,400 48 of you, okay, wow, we started way high, now we're down pretty low, but that's still a strong number at Q11. Ugh, used to love watching MTV, RIP childhood, right? We wanna go back there, but instead, we gotta head on to Q12. You have been a beautiful audience, you get a Q12, and you get a Q12, and you get a Q12. Thank you, Oprah, actual Oprah, for being here. Yeah, thumbs up to you. It's a real honor. <laughs> All right, final question. Oprah's here, it's incredible. Which of these countries had a female leader first? Iceland, Israel, or India? Which of these countries had a female leader first? Iceland, Israel, or India? Who did it? Suspense is killing me, even though I know the answer. Okay. Progressive Iceland elected a female president in 1980, okay. But Golda Meir became Prime Minister of Israel in 1969. But three years earlier, Indira Gandhi, no relation to Mahatma Gandhi, won the election as Prime Minister of India, making India the correct answer. And we have winners! Time to dance. <laughs> This show has been absolute mayhem. We got YCB winning. We got Mr. Tuna Davis, love that. Gorlop, oh yeah, Paul Chin. Way to go, Paul Chin. Can't stop, won't stop. 487 is your prize. This game has been multiple choice mayhem. Your crazy coworker overturned the water cooler. Then there was like a broken swivel chair flying through the air. It was Lord of the Flies out there. How did you survive, HQDs? Thanks for making HQtopia such a fun place to run, jump, swim, and fly. I will see you on Twitter at Emma Tattenbaum. And this is important, report back to your H cubicle at 9 p.m. Eastern tonight when classy, classy Sharon Carpenter will be hosting. So till then, go read a book. Bye!